You know, when I've been in Texas, when I've been in these homeless shelters with women, or when I'm allowed to be in homeless shelters with women, I'd say a good 30% of the people I meet don't have English as a first language. Some of them don't speak any language, any English at all. And then some of the women I've met, including ones with children, uh, have had hard times. They may even have been arrested and have spent time in jail. Or they may have been involved in jobs where they had very significant technical skills. And for whatever reason, that sector was either rendered obsolete or they changed the standards. And then they wanted a younger model or a model that fit some other different kind of demographic in order to fulfill some other kind of contractual terms. I've met two women that tried to represent themselves pro se in court proceedings. They weren't first language English speakers and they were also dealing with immigration proceedings at the same time. They also had children that were being manipulated as part of alleged custody battles that were identified as possession of the bodies. Their children were still alive at the time. Am I going to argue selfishly about whether my relationship to these women when they've asked me for help or they've told me about their lives is exclusively theirs or exclusively mine? That if in the fact that we've talked to each other and they've shared things about their life with me and I've shared things about my life with them, that maybe it gives them an idea or it provides them with some manner in which they can go find other information that then helps to educate them or give them some sort of uh, other tool that they need to take care of themselves. If I see them use that and apply it successfully and or come up with an analysis based on what I said combined with what they do, am I going to argue with them and then beat them and then steal everything from their lives and claim that it was mine because I was smarter than them to begin with? Obviously, I'm smarter than them. I'm white. I've been able to have a job where even though I didn't get the retirement benefits, I did make them. Even though I didn't graduate college, I was able to go to college. A lot of these women didn't even have that. I'm obviously smarter than them. It's obviously mine. Anything they were able to accomplish just by virtue of intersecting with me, considering the fact that, relatively speaking, I had access to a type of power they didn't, Obviously, whatever they accomplish is the result of my work. And so I have first dibs on what happens to their accomplishments if they are allowed to accomplish anything. See, most of the time I'm supposed to believe that any woman I've actually gotten involved with in any way failed. It was an abject failure that I got the worst of the worst, that I got women that were so completely hopeless and so completely useless that there was no chance for them to begin with. And that's why I ended up engaging with them in their lives. That's why nobody would give them a lawyer. That's why when they did go through legal processes, nothing about what the other lawyers did, including lawyers that charged $1,400 an hour, nothing about them actually was good enough to have an accomplishment. That's why I ended up intersecting with them. If they did accomplish anything, I'm not supposed to know about it. They're just supposed to be gone from my life forever. And everybody I used to know, everybody I used to know, if they've accomplished anything, do I have the right to say that any of their accomplishments are actually mine? That they didn't have a right to do anything in their life. They didn't have a right to even have a friggin' place to stay in their own name. Because the only reason they have it is because they took it from me. Everybody, including the lawyers, including the doctors, including the people who are now attempting to run for office or got some sort of appointment to a commission. All of them. Obviously, everything they have is only because they were able to steal it from me. And likewise, anything anybody else has that might have in any way been synergistic with me or might have in any way showed the kind of leadership that at least initially, I thought I would have respected. Anything they have is only, is only because of what? Did they steal it from me? Can I never acknowledge? See, it's one thing if you go to somebody that's supposed to be in a representative role for you, your senator, your supervisor, and you say, I have this problem, and your job is to be able to address this problem. 
Well, obviously, obviously, if you went to them with information, then you stole it from them and they have a right to take your report and they have a right to take your information and use it for their own benefit and not even get back to you. As a matter of fact, bitch, you're fired. You should never have even had access to that information. Other duties as a sign means you have to get directly from me, the actual command, because anything you do on your own initiative is mine. And if I did something and it happens to be similar to something you did, you know what? You're fired and it's mine now. That's what I've, that's basically what I've heard for the last five years from everybody in any position of what is supposed to be representation of the people of this country. And I think that my failure is that I'm not really getting that what I was supposed to do is understand all of the other people I met were resources. And I don't get that I haven't exploited them as resources. I haven't claimed their human capital is mine. I haven't taken the things that they told me about their lives and figured out how to recreate a profile based on intersecting with them that allows me to list it on an inventory so that I can start marketing myself for sale in exchange for what, wages? Maybe a salary? Are you gonna give me, are you gonna give me shares? Are you gonna give me like stock options? Are you gonna give me a loan? Are you gonna give me a loan based on the harvested human capital of other people and they're not gonna be told about it but my job is to make sure they perform where they are for me to be able to meet the terms of my loan using their lives so that then I can get credit to take out a loan on another class of people. You see, every time you say to me, I have to go back to the beginning, that's what you're saying. You're saying you didn't realize that you had to find another group of people and you had to compile information about that other group of people. And you had to use it to come up with a profile that then you could loan, that you could get a loan on. Somebody was going to pay you to use that composition of the life that you were able to create yourself as based on your harvesting of other people. And then you get a loan. And if you meet certain terms of the loan using other people's lives, mostly because you get them to do things to meet the terms that you got established as part of that loan, then you've succeeded. And then you get to pay it back after they've done what they needed to do to make money for the person who gave you the loan. And then you could qualify for another loan. So you're not going to be talking only with immigrant women anymore. You're not going to be talking with unemployed women anymore. You didn't do your job in exploiting the resources we gave you. So you don't qualify to get out of that level. And anything you did, like writing proposed pieces of legislation, writing your own legal filings, writing your own investigative reports, coming up with your own AML system. Somebody else used you as their loan and you paid it off and they got enough credit to run for re-election and get elected. And they got enough credit to be able to loan you out to other people. Hey, you wanted to go before the Supreme Court? Did you really think you were qualified to even talk to somebody who had gone to the Supreme Court? I need another loan. And I don't like the attitude you woke up with this morning. 